Hi, this is Mark Horton again, and we're in this series looking at um, European Interparties Patent Review, otherwise known as Opposition before the European Patent Office. In this video, we're now looking at the response to opposition by the opponent. So we've had the opposition filed by the opponent or opponents. We've had, then had the proprietor and the proprietor has filed their response within four or maybe six months if they've had an extension. And now there's a further response in opposition by the proprietor. Now at this stage, if there's more than one opponent, this is the time when you will have seen a number of additional documents which you weren't previously aware of. This is the time to consolidate those documents to see whether documents filed by other opponents um, can be used in combination with your documents and maybe to see in the response of the proprietor have they actually got some strong valid arguments there may be an Achilles heel that they've uh, they've highlighted and of course this is a really good time to go away and see if you can find additional information now the additional information might be something from the common general knowledge you might actually be wanting to go out to um, uh, the open literature, you might want to be going to encyclopedias, review articles, books and so forth to find substantiation for particular terms or particular points that you want to clarify and you want to make sure that the opposition division sees them in the context that you want to see them to have a particular meaning in, in view. At this point you will also be looking at the further submissions by the proprietor. The proprietor may well have put in several claims requests and you can look at these carefully and decide what is their line of attack or what line of defence more to the point. What is this defence saying to you? Where do they perceive the strongest documents to be? Where are you maybe seeing the most vulnerable? Well, in doing that, you probably therefore want to revisit your arguments and may go, maybe go back and substantiate your original arguments a little bit more and rebut some of the additional points which the proprietor has made. So altogether you're pulling together your final uh, opposition statement. Now then, at this stage the proprietor themselves can make a further response and as an opponent the opponent can make yet further responses. However in my uh, experience that doesn't ha tend to happen so much. The next stage will be the summons to oral proceedings, the summons to the opposition hearing. So that will be in my next video. Thank you.